Britain's charity watchdog is considering investigating donations given to Prince Charles's charitable fund. After it was revealed, the Prince of Wales accepted cash payments of more than two and a half million pounds. That's an awful lot of cash, isn't it? A lot of pound coins there. From <laughs> former, former Qatari Prime Minister Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim. The donations were submitted over several occasions between 2011 and 2015 and are said to have been handed by the Sheikh to Prince Charles in suitcases, holdalls, and Fortnum and Mason carrier bags. What's wrong with little, I hear you asking? <laughs> Clarence House insists the cash was passed immediately to the charity and that all the correct processes were followed. But as part of any investigation, the Charity Commission could now interview fund trustees, including the Prince himself. There's no suggestion of any wrongdoing by either party, but the story has certainly raised a few eyebrows about Prince Charles's personal judgment and it seems to me that our eyebrows should be raised so high that even botox wouldn't uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, because this is the most extraordinary thing because you think of the huge amount of money and you think of the the bursting carrier bags and hold alls and then you think of prince charles and then you think what the beep did he think was happening <laughs> well, he know, wasn't thinking where did he think but but we know he's not you know he's not hasn't had to be troubled in life with earning a living and we know he hasn't had to be troubled in life with working out his tax returns or any of the sorts of things that the rest of us have to do but do you think that somewhere along the way he might have sort of picked up some notion about <laughs> cash and you know and 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 money laundering potentially and possibly, you know, money being sort of illegally siphoned out of countries by corrupt rules. I'm not saying any of it applies in this instance, but you think these possibilities might have yeah. kind of impinged upon his consciousness at some point when he was making his Duchy of Cornwall biscuits. He might have sort of thought, well, imagine if they paid me in cash, which I could just trouser and I wouldn't have to declare it. You know, that kind of a thing. So, so I don't know whether it makes any difference at all that this was for... Charity, because I think the origins of the money and at least inquiring into it are, are, are vital, whether it's for charity or not. Daisy, what do you think? I mean, no, it doesn't make any difference whether it's for charity, because if you're going to accept money, you have to do your due diligence and you have to make sure that that money is clean money um, and is, you know, and is sort of properly gone through the motions. Now, of course, I do understand that there are, particularly in the past, I mean, and we're not going back very far, uh, but you know, there are countries and cultures that deal much, much more in cash than we do, and it's pretty much impossible now to pay into a bank those huge sums of, of cash um, that even then it was possible. And it does show a really deep lack of judgment on, on his behalf. Um, <clears throat> And I do, what I really worry about is if these stories are coming out now, these stories are going to be a hell of a lot more valuable mm -hmm. to newspapers when he's king. Mm -hmm. rather than Prince of Wales. So how many stories are being sat on mm -hmm. now with journalists waiting for the, the, the moment? And, Jeff, I wonder if you think that Daisy's being very generous when she says lack of judgment. I wonder if you see anything, <laughs> anything more, more, more scandalous, more, more corrupt, more I, I think when, you know, less you say, admirable? The moment you say the word hold all, <laughs> with cash in. <laughs> you start thinking lock up in Newham, a couple of shooters <laughs> under the bed. Um, but of course, none of that has been proved to be relevant here. I mean, look, it's a weird situation. On the one hand, let's just bear in mind he was taking the money for charity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clarence House is saying that they've done the relevant checks uh, at their end. And it's weird because it is still money, isn't it? You know, for us, is it just a case of the optics are difficult here? If that's a backs transfer, mm -hmm. none of us are saying anything. It's like still that. money. But, it's still money. But like you so rightly said, it's the optics, isn't it, Jeff? And I'm sure. should that be the most important thing? It shouldn't be the most important thing, but it's still a thing that needs to be considered. And I, I'm shocked, actually, that no one thought to say to either party, I'm not sure if it's a good idea mm. if you stuff a million quid in some carrier bags mm. and then give it to me in, like, a dodgy hotel room. But this... Like, you know, it's the serious lack of judgment. This is a moral grey area on both parts. And it's not just how he received it, it's who he received it from mm -hmm. as well. It's all very questionable. For me, uh, these guys are multi-multi-millionaires. Uh, they probably have a few million knocking around their flat. So mm. for them, it's probably a case of... You want some cash for your charities? Actually, I've got a few few bags in, in the bedroom, and that's probably it. There's been no <laughs> wrongdoing. It's not great optics, but he hasn't done anything wrong. Like you, though, I'm more bothered about the fact it's come from the Qataris, who have a terrible uh, history mm. on, on human rights. Absolutely. And what are they paying for? Because these rich, rich, super rich people are not just giving out cash for fun. At what all. are they paying for access? Are they paying for influence? There's a reason that they're donating this cash. And you're right there. They, they, he definitely got some, the Sheikh involved, definitely got something for it. And it's about, ca it's about the access, isn't it? Mm. 
-hmm. it's about the possible peerages it's about you know access into mm -hmm. the UK and all the rest of it it's where the money has come from is very questionable to me and by saying it's going to charity it's almost as if oh no it's, for, it's fine if it's for charity charities like London money too <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, he's, he's not like creaming a bit off, you know, for services rendered. He's uh, well, passing well, it on in its ent well, entirety. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he is creaming off some for services <laughs> rendered, <laughs> but we know that there have been other donations mm. that he's had, which he has creamed off and he's used to do the, the upkeep on some of his palaces, particularly right. one, uh, and, and big houses, particularly one in Scotland. Now, he said, you yeah, know, that, that was a donation, but when, when people looked at it, they thought, well, it was a donation for you to give your house a lick of paint. That's that's not really what mm. most of us would expect. I, I do think one of the things that's for. very astounding about the whole thing is that we, when we think of the royal family, we think of one of the richest families in the world with access to palaces and jewels and travel and, and also partially funded by us to some significant extent. But we think they're absolutely loaded. And yet the royal family, all the royal family, always seem to be irresistibly, ineffably attracted to people with huge amounts of money. That's why they're, they're loaded. always mm. in the orbit of, of, of kind of dodgy but, individuals. But, but then you can say, which, what, what attracts what? You know, is it the flies coming to the, the thing in the middle? Or, 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 vice, or vice versa? Because, of course, you know, there are people who have a lot of money but want status, cachet, yeah. cachet mm -hmm. and yes. there are royals who can give cachet and status mm -hmm. and don't have a lot of money in, in bucket mm -hmm. loads. Except they do have a lot of money, Prince but don't have, a, don't have as much money as, as the people sort of who royal, they hang out with. All things with the royal family, I just end up going, I feel sorry for the Queen.